Thunder in the spirit of Crazy Horse. Well, it's happened, people. I saw this coming. I think we all saw it coming. We're really in a situation, a dire situation right now, in my opinion, whether it plays out immediately or somewhere down the line, but a Russian jet got shot down today. And it's too early to tell what's going to happen with this thing, but Putin's already talking real tough. Turkey uh, is the ones, are the ones, that shot the plane down with an F-16, which is a an aircraft that is uh, an American aircraft supplied to Turkey. Turkey is a NATO member. NATO meaning aligned with the West. Okay, we all know what NATO is. Uh, so a NATO member has shot down a Russian jet that is trying to take care of the terrorists. And if that wasn't bad enough, let's just add a little fuel to the fire here. And I just can't believe this, but in a way I can. The two pilots that parachuted out were shot. At least one of them was shot before they even hit the ground, which is really chicken shit. Okay, I'm a pilot. Any kind of combat like that in World War II, whenever you saw a pilot that was defenseless, basically, and gets shot. And the rhetoric is that the aircraft was inside Syria, not in Tur Turkey's uh, airspace. And then Turkey uh, immediately called NATO when they did this, and so Russia is taking a dim view of that because it could have been just a Turkish incident or a NATO incident. And the fact that they called NATO right away uh, raises eyebrows in Putin's camp. Uh, my thoughts are that this is, uh, this is a powder keg situation and now you just added a tinder box or a spark to it. The assholes in the West and NATO have upped the ante. They have uh, they have irritated the bear. Okay, Russia being the bear. What it, what happens when you irritate a bear? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. So could this be World War Three? Uh, I'm surprised nukes aren't flying already. Cooler heads are definitely prevailing here so far. I think Putin's a pretty cool customer. Now somebody even said today, hooray, uh, Russia got shot down, blah, blah, blah. What an idiot. What, what an idiot comment. Okay. Russia are the good guys, not the bad guys. They're the ones that are trying to take care of the terrorists. And the terrorists, again, are the proxy army of the West. They're bought and paid for by the West. And things have been heating up. You know why? Because Russia's jets just, uh, you know, they just took out a, a whole convoy of oil trucks that the West has refused, has been saying that they're bombing, but they haven't been. Okay. And that's where the money's coming from to fund these assholes. And who's, who's buying the oil? Well, probably the West. And so when Russia took out the convoy of tank trucks and took out the uh, refining plant and, all, and the oil storage, they made a statement that you know we're gonna we're gonna go after the 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 people that are financing and we know that the West is financing we know it okay they've even admitted it in so many words they've actually admitted it in direct words so what's new here nothing except the fact that 
these assholes in the West are, are just freaking idiots to, to uh, push it this far. Pushing it this far puts us all in harm's way. Every person on the freaking planet, okay? It's not like uh, this is... Oh man, this is worse than uh, this is worse than the Cuban Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, this could be real, real bad, people, real bad. And I hate to say it. I hate to even talk about it. I hate to report it. If you didn't know already, you do now. And this can't go anywhere but bad, south. Uh, See, the thing is, is that, that Russia was trying to do a deal with Turkey anyway on the, uh, I think it's the South Stream pipeline. And they had some kind of an agreement on that. So, you know, Putin today made the statement, another statement, that uh, he felt that Turkey stabbed him in the back stabbed Russia in the back and he also made the statement that they're supporting terrorists okay so this that's the initial rhetoric and it keeps getting more intense and worse as the day progresses okay so we'll see how this plays out or maybe we won't see. Maybe we'll just see a big freaking flash in the sky and that'll be the last thing we remember. Uh, I'm joking, but it's serious. It could happen. This is the kind of shit that is just dumb shit stuff. Uh, again, where is it coming from? Well, it's coming from the West. It's coming from NATO. It's coming from Turkey. Man, what a... Uh, <laughs> What a coincidence. Here we are on Turkey Day. Turkey Day is coming up. Which is an abomination anyway, according to any Native American. And then we got Turkey putting us in direct harm's way. Turkey and NATO putting, a, putting all mankind in direct harm's way by doing a dumb shit thing like shooting down a Russian aircraft that is fighting terrorists. I can't tell you how disgusted I am. I can't tell you how disgusted I am with the West and NATO. I would use every four letter word in the book, but it's not going to do any good. It wouldn't even describe my contempt and, and uh, utter disgust at these assholes that are put, putting us in harm's way, okay? Now, the statement again was made today that, yeah, well, it serves them right because Russia, is, the refugees are all because Russia's. That's not true. Get a freaking clue, okay? The reason that the refugees are going into these other countries is because the West destabilized Syria with their proxy terrorist freaking armies. So get rid of that nationalistic bullshit, okay? Fervor. Oh, yeah. Russia is our friend, not our enemy. This government, this, uh, the USA and their, their, their smug, screwed up attitude and their, their, their worthy exceptional nation on earth and all this on and on and on. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not a good thing what's going on here, okay? It's not a good thing. This it this is again, it's a powder keg situation with a match right there. That's how bad it is. That's just if you can envision that, it's a match next to a huge powder keg or a stockpile of dynamite. Who would do that? 
What person in their freaking right mind would hold a match next to a powder keg or, or, or juggle a, a, a bunch of nitroglycerin uh, bottles and hope, hope that you don't drop one? That's kind of where we're at right now. And I'm not kidding you. If this doesn't escalate into something, into a, a, a worldwide conflagration, configuration on the conflagration, uh, man, I don't know. We're lucky. Somebody's, uh, we're being watched out for. Somebody's, I don't see this going well at all. I see it deteriorating. If Russia doesn't retaliate right away, if Putin and Russia don't retaliate right away, uh, man, I hate to see what's coming down the road, though. And whatever happens, that's just gonna, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna make this even worse. With the situation, I mean, the powder keg situation in the Middle East, and this has been ramping up. We've been seeing it with the false flag attacks that I did video on the false flag attacks in Paris and then hunting down the people in Brussels and the downing of the Russian aircraft, the Russian airliner, and now this, the Russian, the downing of the Russian. Uh, and it's all been escalating and they're all, they've all, this G20 summit meeting didn't mean shit or none of these meetings mean shit. Not compared to this, this, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see if we make it through the day without uh, you know <laughs> man I hate to be a doomsday guy but how, you know how close can you get I mean look at the situation look at the big picture We're close We're close to annihilation All these all these powers have nuclear weapons tons and tons and tons of nuclear weapons this is almost like a, it, it's kind of an act of war it's, it's an un, un, uh, you know when shit like this happens like when you know when a Russian plane gets shot down it doesn't matter who, sh who shot it down or uh, you know if there's a direct correlation it doesn't matter let's put it this way it doesn't matter that the USA itself didn't shoot it down because actually they did because they're in leagues with nato and they're in leagues with turkey and it's all a big they're all in bed together like a bunch of freaking whores that's what they that's what they remind me of cheap fucking whores and they you know <laughs> they actually give whores a bad name Wars ain't that bad as they are. But they're all in bed together and they're all uh, uh, despicable. Okay, and they, and they keep ramping up stuff and they keep doing it. The whole thing's despicable. It's a despicable uh, game, okay dirty low down dog dirt game okay that they're playing and people's lives are at stake we're talking the whole freaking planet it's lives everybody because if this escalated let's say into like it could and i'm sure everybody could see where this could go if you don't you're really a dumb shit You can see where it could go. And if you can't, you know, like I said. And the moral high ground has been held by Russia until now. I mean, well, still, but now the immoral high ground, it's evident who wants to push this thing into a World War III type situation. For what? Because the financial collapse is happening in the West? 
I don't see how we're going to get out of this in any way, shape, or form in a good way. <laughs> how do you figure that you can backpedal on this? How do you figure you can do that? How do you figure you can backpedal on the situation as intense as, as it is with Russia in Syria defending Assad and, def and killing the terrorists that were put there by the West and the West being backed into a corner because their terrorist army is being killed and their fuel supply or the, 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 the pipeline, not the pipeline, but the tank trucks and the convoys have been taken out. It's escalating, people. It's, 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 it's exploding before your very freaking eyes. It's time to get down on your knees and make penance with your creator or uh, call, that, call in the star beings whatever, wherever you're coming from so that they'll take you the hell out of here. Because this is not going to be a pretty picture. Mark my words. I already mentioned, you know, I already said that if this, I talked about this a long time ago in my videos. You guys know that. I just didn't want to see it, but I said it's, it, you know, I talked about there's so many airplanes. Being a pilot, there's so many airplanes or aircraft or military aircraft in that situation and borders, and it's so tight that just this had to happen. It had to happen, and it was bound to happen. I didn't really want to see it happen. I definitely am on the side of the moral high ground, and the moral high ground here is with Russia and it is with Putin. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. It's evident. It's blatant. Uh, it's blatant what the West is doing. And the reason that it's blatant is because is this is just not the only incident. It's Ukraine, them supporting the Nazis in Ukraine and all that bullshit. It, it tells you, we're, you know, who's black and who's white on the, on the scale of morality right now. Could that change? Sure, it could change. It changes throughout history. Well, and you're going to say, some of you are going to say, yeah, but, you know, no, but no country is uh, uh, squeaky clean and all that. Well, you're right as far as killing and, and covert ops and all that stuff. But there are the lesser of the evils. There is the lesser of the evils. And you can't get any more evil than the West right now. You can't get any more evil. They're bad guys. If you were reading a Western, these would be the guys that came in and killed the rancher's wife and raped his kids and raped her in front of him. That's who these guys would be. And they need to be taken out. I'm sorry. I'm a warrior. Some, I hope Putin does... Uh, react in a way that is severe without starting World War III. And he will, because he probably already saw this coming, like all of us and like me, he's a strategist, he probably already saw that this was a possibility and probably didn't want to, uh, hoped that it wouldn't be, but there's always contingency plans for this kind of thing, okay? There's always contingency plans for this kind of thing. There's always that, that 12 chess move ahead uh, planning for this type of thing. This is not going to be pretty. There's going to be retaliation. There's going to be blowback. There's going to be blowback, people. So get ready. <laughs> Hold on to your lug nuts because Papa's back in town, okay? That's an old, uh, <laughs> it's not an old, it's a, it's a little humorous thing from a movie. But this ain't so humorous, is it, people? You think this is humorous? I don't. I'm ready to uh, <laughs> put on my uh, anti-nuclear <laughs> suit. <laughs> anti-radiation suit. It's not a pretty picture here, people. Um, so this is what? What is the date today? Uh, the 24th of November, one, one to mark in your uh, history books. 
the day that a Russian jet was shot down by NATO. Has, this hasn't happened in years and years and years, okay? I mean, decades. Hasn't happened in decades. A Russian jet going that being shot. So, I don't know. And then, you know, again, the thing about shooting the pilots after they parachuted, it is chicken shit to do that, okay? I don't care who you are. You just don't do that. You don't shoot defenseless people. Of course, what's new? They behead people. They do all kinds of shit. They behead women. <laughs> so, I guess it just irks me as a pilot, okay? Because I can easily put myself in that place. So where's this all going to go? Well, we don't know. We don't know. So it's, it's best to uh, just watch the situation closely. I'll, I might do more videos on it. I just felt I had to get this video out. And hell, it could be my last video. <laughs> it could be the world's last video. Am I blowing this thing up out of proportion? No, not at all. Well, like what I said before, if nothing happens off of this, if there's no instant blowback, consider yourself very fortunate, lucky, uh, blessed, it's a miracle, that type of thing. And life will go on, I guess, but man, I just don't see how it can, this is powder keg, this is, live uh, dynamite uh, <laughs> holding the match up there. How far are they going to take this? How far are these idiots in the West going to push, push, push until it's just over? We're on the verge of something here, people. It cannot be reversed now. It cannot be reversed. I don't know how this could be reversed. I don't, I don't think that anything like this has happened in, in decades, decades. This is war, people. This is a, this is superpower, a superpower getting a, a jet shot down by a pissant country like Turkey and a pissant leader. Now, some say that, that you know, the, 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 the Kurdish faction might figure in here that since Turkey doesn't like the Kurds that Putin might just go in there and prop up the Kurds or I don't know what he's going to do. This is going to be really interesting. I'll say one thing, at least we're living in interesting times. I mean, I'm not really worried about the planet. I'm just informing. I'm just informing here. It's like if we all go up in a cinder, we go up in a cinder. But I'm just informing people. And, it, and when it boils down to it, to, to the whole thing, I'm not like really taking sides. I'm just looking at the, when I mention Putin and Russia and the moral high ground, I'm just looking at the truth, the facts. But like I said, it's, it's spy against spy, government against government, uh, man against man. It's not good. But if you look in a barrel of apples and they're rotten and there's the one that caused the rottenness to the core, it's, it, it's got to be the West right now. There's just, if you're informed, if you know better, if you're not a dumb shit, if you've been following world events, if you've been following the financial situation, if you've been following uh, what has been said, there is no doubt about it. I don't want to hear any bullshit about it. There's no doubt about who, who perpetuated and propagated and pushed this thing as far as it's gone. It's time for people to wake up and, and uh, realize that. Now, I'm, I've been watching this uh, just, just kind of slightly off the subject here, but I've been watching this uh, mini-series on Amazon. It's, it's Amazon Prime, and it's like a mini-series or... Uh, what do you call it, a 
seasonal thing, okay? And it's like, the reason that I watched it was the premise is that America didn't win World War II and that half, half of the, I think it's called the man in the castle or the high castle. It's very interesting because uh, the premise is, is that America didn't win World War II and it was split into two halves with kind of a no man's land in the middle. One half on the East Coast would be uh, the Reich, the Nazis, and then the other half would have been Japan, okay? It's very interesting because if you look what's going on in that, uh, it kind of reminds you of what's already here, what's here now. I mean, it, it's, it's very interesting. I highly recommend people, if, they're, if you want to watch something for entertainment value and for maybe a deep philosophical meaning, uh, I would suggest that because we're kind of in that situation now. We're in a Nazi, looking at the clock here, we're in a Nazi regime right here. We're in a fascist regime, just like if Hitler would have won the war, and Hitler in Japan would have won the war, and maybe they did on a, on a uh, beneath the surface because we brought all those people in here under Operation Paperclip after World War II, and maybe just that whole situation, it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, it's scarier than shit that we're living in a society in a world like this. All right, people. Well, I guess I'll kind of leave it there today. I want to get back to watching this thing very closely, and I might do another video today, or I might do one tomorrow, or I don't know. Maybe I'll just spend the day uh, communing with nature and great spirit and saying thank you for the time that we had on this earth. This is not lightweight, people, whether, you know, whether the end comes tomorrow or uh, further on down the road or whatever, it's just not lightweight. Mark my words, it's, there's going to be hell to pay for this. There's going to be freaking hell to pay in one way or another. This isn't going to be, uh, I don't know, it'll be interesting to watch. We'll comment, it we'll comment on it later. Anyway, keep the faith, people. Uh, hang in there care about you all, care about the planet, uh, but it's just downright crazy. If I, if I said anything today to offend anybody that made a comment personally, I meant to, no. Uh, think about what I said, seriously. You need to educate yourself. Don't get nationalistic on me here, people, with this country. Don't let them don't let them, you know, don't let them lay this plan on your head and you fall for it. Where they divide and conquer and there's nationalistic fervor and there's racism and there's, oh, the Muslims are bad. This is all bullshit. That's the same thing they did to the Native Americans. Made them look bad. Made them look like the fall guy. Divided them. Divided them. Divided the people. Divided. It's all, a, it's, it's a playbook thing. It's been done before. This is just right out of the playbook, okay? With insanity mixed in, super insanity. But this is done before and they're, they like to divide people, they like to pit one against another so that they can go to war, so that the people don't bitch about going to war and they accept it readily like, oh, there's a big threat now, you know, we're on the verge of world, we have to do, the, you know, this is what they want. This is problem, reaction, solution. This is the shock doctrine, problem, reaction, solution. All that stuff mixed into one. False flags. It's like there's this big kettle of, 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 of badness that they're all, they're stirring up right now. Man, it's really being stirred up right now. I can't get this point across enough. So don't fall for the nationalistic fervor thing. Think about the big picture here. Think about what's going on in the big picture. It's ramping up, it's getting to a high degree of intensity, it's getting to a degree of massive annihilation. It could happen. It's not like 
Oh, that's out of the question, man. No, there is no, there is no mutually assured destruction treaty anymore. There is no, there's idiots running around thinking that uh, limited nuclear warfare could happen. It, we could do that and still survive. That's where it's at right now, people. It's sad that mankind is so messed up on a mental level. That, that they think that this stuff's okay. Anyway, I'll leave it there. That was my last little uh, barrage. Adios, people, later on.